All right, how are you doing? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to automatically set your CMS filter state using CMS filter by FinSuite, specifically the show query parameter. So what we'll have here is like a resources section that of course you can filter. I'm gonna assume you already know how to set this up. It's pretty basic. I also have a video showing how to do that in just a couple minutes, I think four minutes right here. So I'll pop that up. But what we have going on here is that you see if we go home, now I have articles, videos, and podcasts. I have three different CMS collections here. And if I click this view all articles, then I come back to the resources page and article is already selected. If I click view all videos, then we get the resources page with videos filtered. And if I click view all podcasts, then it's going to be here. Hey there, web bay. Now, essentially, CMS filter by FinSuite, I'm gonna assume you've already done step one and step two and you've implemented the filtering, but I'm gonna show you how to implement this option right here, show query. So I've got show query open. It says when a user filters content, query parameters are added to the URL when the user applies any filter. These create custom URLs with filter configuration. When loading the custom URL, the grid will filter with information specific to the query parameters. So we see an example right here, and it tells us we need to add this to the element that uh, has the attribute of list on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this show query name, come back to my Webflow project, and let me zoom in for a second. This is the collection that's filtering all of our resources. So you can see it already has FS CMS filter element equals list. I'm gonna go ahead and add FS CMS filter show query equals true. And now we can go ahead and publish this. And now we can see that as we filter up here in the URL bar, we get category equals and then the value of the filter. So podcast for podcast, video for video, article for article, and all is just clear, has nothing associated with it. But what we can do, let me filter by article again, and I'm just going to copy and paste this URL right here. And on the main page or back on home, all these view all articles, view all videos are going to get that URL. So for articles, I just am gonna copy and paste that there. And we can see we have, this is a query parameter because we have question mark and then category. So that's the search parameter and the value equals article. Go ahead and zoom in there so you can see. So this is the query parameter that we have here. And all we have to do is change this to the specific category for each link. So I'll come down to view all videos and I'll set the URL to category equals video in this case. And for this view all podcasts, we'll set the URL and we'll change this to podcast. And now let's publish again and verify that it all works. All right, so we're on our homepage here and we come down, let's say we want to view all podcasts. You can see in the bottom left there that it's adding the query parameters to the end of our URL. And we'll click on that. And now we get to the resources page and it's already filtered by podcast. We come back home, we can view all videos. Boom, it's filtered by video here. And lastly, let's just verify we got article correct. It's filtered by article. Now, some things you might wanna watch out for is that in Webflow here, since we are hard coding this URL, you know, right now I just have a free plan and I'm set to the .webflow.io domain. So if you want this on your production website, you'd have to set it to whatever your custom domain is there. Or I can show you, if you're curious, I can show you in a later video how we could use some JavaScript to build this link for us based on what the host name is. But I think that's a little bit outside the scope of this video. Just wanted to show you how to get this up and running really quickly so you can have it on your site. Anyways, thanks for watching. If that helped, give it the big old thumbs up at the bottom there and subscribe to my videos. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.